Yeah, <clears throat> hello and welcome uh, to my new project that I want to show off today. My name is Kriatox and I'm a uh, mod creator on the uh, uh, Starfield, currently Starfield Nexus. And my current project is HTML based, so basically you can use it with any browser. And as you can see, it's somehow the name already gives it away. It's a map, map helping tool utility whatever i'd say though i'm not exactly 100 percent sure where it's going whether uh, uh, where this path is leading me because uh, when i was uh, developing that tool uh, uh, a couple of new ideas arose but for now i'd say it's just something to help you uh, having quick access to problem solving or uh, uh, reviewing information information that you do not necessarily get easily in the game and it could also help you for uh, missions when you're trying to backtrack something. So let me show off the feature. Settings, of course, this is where it's going to be uh, uh, the hotkeys later. And of course, this is an alpha version. So that's basically uh, later going to be the page with instruction. As you can see, there's a real time watch. Then you have the option to toggle the star labels and only the name will be given away when you uh, hover over the star icons, so as you can see, all those icons are the actual star icons in game. So we have Sol, there's Vega, you have Procyon, Sirius, and all the uh, Heisenberg, and all the names of all the uh, star systems. And you can do various things with uh, those star icons. For one, if you uh, hold Control and click on it, it will open uh, this text box for you, and you can you can basically enter any text here and you could use it i'd say uh, like a journal a personal journal for any star system or maybe a general journal if you just uh, uh, <clears throat> use it for that context and yeah you can drag it you can bring it anywhere maybe i'm not sure about that i'm going to increase the size of that if you really want to use it as a journal because for now i kept it limited because everything is handled via local browser storage and the local storage is limited so i'm not sure if i want to go there uh, totally yolo allowing basically all you want to enter i'm, I'm, I'm gonna see about that in future so basically you uh, confirm the text and if you then hold shift and press the icon you can see the text here okay you can basically enter any text here that's what's then as you can see all the elements have uh, basically the star field aesthetics and uh, it's using the starfield font and all the colors are uh, uh, based on the um, uh, on the game ui and all the icons i'm using are all extracted from the game from the texture folder so and as i said you can uh, um, write something you can later review that and if you double press on vega it will show you this system map system widget let's call it a widget and what you see here right now usually this is a, a black text with white background but since i am using the dark mode in chrome it does it the other way around and you can see it has that level emblem up here and it uh, shows the number of planets with the moons as a, a nice animation and then you have those moons here and if you hover hover over them you get the basic information like type and what resources you can find, blah, 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 stuff like that. And if you double click it, it will send you right to the wiki where you can get even more information if you need to. See, if you wanna, for example, want to have some closer information on the fauna of that specific uh, moon on Vega, uh, uh, what is it? Vega 2, 2C, you will get that easily without having to rely on a standard browser and then trying Google search and it's, it's just, a quality of life improvement okay so that's basically what you can do it's an info base i'd say and it gives you those nice animations i also have it set up for a soul already as you can see all the information for all the planets and whatnot uh, correct animation which is actually based on real time and additionally you have quick links to uh, the wiki the starfield wiki in regard to those things that you've seen displayed here creatures page one two three four the fauna starfield fauna okay so you can easily review a slider shell whenever you and and the browser and the tool is using all the standard functions 
that uh, a normal browser is using and I would recommend using it in Edge, not in Chrome. If Chrome is your standard browser, I would use it in Edge simply because I'm not using Edge at all to browse in the internet. But that way I can use Edge as dedicated Starfield map helper tool where I'm using its complete local storage uh, capacity and use Edge only for that one purpose to serve as a, a browser for this tool. Okay, so you have Flora, and if you click, you will get sent to the Flora page of the wiki, the resources, and it does it so that when you click, it will replace the content. Yeah, and you see all the commercials I haven't installed uh, right now. I haven't installed my ad blocker, and uh, uh, Google Chrome got updated, and somehow, or on purpose, I think, they wrecked all the uh, ad blockers that are available as, pl as plugin, and so I have to deal with ads for now. That's why it's also performing so slow, or... I, I don't say so slow, but a little bit slower. See, spacesuits, you will get quick access to a solid info base. So basically it's, and that's not the end. That's only uh, a preview what's going to be in. There's probably going to be a couple of even more uh, things that I'm going to add. Um, the only problem is, see, I can, let me show you off that in Edge. If I just open it with Edge, it's basically the same. Okay. And you have access to all that stuff and the only downside while developing that tool is oh look edge has fucked up my x button nice so that's something that i already need to fix because if you can see that x button that's supposed to be up here isn't up here because yeah edge is a different uh, browser and it simply refused to show up that uh, ad button basically what i do is pressing f5 to update the page so there's something that i already need to fix and edge sucks <laughs> That's probably the reason why I'm using Chrome. And the reason why I recommend using Edge for it, of course I will fix uh, the, the stuff that uh, is not working in Edge, is because uh, local storage, if you have uh, uh, your Chrome set up so that it will automatically delete cookies when you exit the browser, then it will delete all the information that you uh, put into the local storage, namely the stuff that you add uh, via this text box here. Box here. Okay, as you can see, it's empty now because I uh, exit that browser one time. And that's why I'm saying uh, to use Edge. And the reason why I'm using local storage is because I want to base this tool client-based only. I don't want to provide a server for it. And uh, uh, it's just a matter of security. But maybe in future developments, I'm going to make it, uh, let's say, multiplayer compatible so that anybody can add something to the info base. And the only real issue is I'm having to do all that info stuff manually as you can see here if we take earth as example see i'm using text files the reason for that is uh, quite easily because everybody understands how to edit uh, a text file with notepad or notepad plus plus it doesn't really matter and there you can see i basically just copy paste uh, wiki page content and uh, copy pasted it in here gave it a proper format so that you can properly display it on my map tool see our x is back See, and that's basically what it is, I believe. What what was what, what did I click there? Earth. Okay, Earth is this. So you see, chlorine, solar storm, seasons, 92% sandy desert. And if you go here, there we have all of that chlorine. So, and the reason why I decided to do that with text files is because anybody can uh, create a text file. And what format I am using is quite easily so that it is actually compatible with the uh, wiki right now is I'm using as ID, I'm using the name that it is used on the uh, 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 wiki page. So if I click on Vega uh, uh, 3, which is the only habitable planet on this, uh, uh, in the star system, then you see it's Vega 2C with an underscore and a, a minus in between. And that's basically how my ID is distributed uh, to all the files you can see and if I go into the code which is easy because HTML basically is uh, um, HTML will be compiled at runtime inside the browser so it's basically when you code it it is always decompiled so and there you can see that's the same ID I'm using in my uh, uh, diff classes and when I'm calling the Java script so that there is some so that it is compatible with all the wiki content, you know. So this is where I'm calling it. So, and that is, the problem with that is I have to make all those files manually and, and I have to add them bit by bit. So what I'm planning to do is uh, uh, 
first finalizing all the features of the actual map and then bit by bit, bit by bit uh, adding the uh, uh, diverse uh, system and planet and moon files whatever and of course you can also add them yourself and yeah that's my newest tool but I'm probably not going to release it hasty. I'm uh, taking my time with that tool, so it's probably going to take at least until the end of December, if not even more. We'll see about that, and I hope you stay tuned. I'm out. Goodbye.